What's up, Mid Explorers? So today, as I said, we are in Italy, and this is a uh, permission visit. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, it's not abandoned, but the story on this place is really cool. It dates back to the 1700s. It's the same family that took this place right up to 2014. Unfortunately, Nietzsche Maris was the last uh, occupant here. And in, unfortunately, in 2014, she got taken into a home, and sadly, at 92, I think she was. I mean, she's had a pretty good life, passed away. And then this place got left in despair, completely falling down, trash, windows, birds, dead birds everywhere, cats, mess everywhere in this place. And a lady brought it, and she wanted to convert it into a and b Unfortunately, Italian authorities ruined her plans. And now this place again sits empty. So, yeah, guys, in the description will be a link if you wish, if you are in Italy. Um, I'm not going to put the town or nothing in the video, but please, if you know where this place is, don't break in. There's a link in the description. Just literally message the girls up. They'll come here, they'll unlock it for you, and you can have a look around. Any money raised will help put this villa back on the map, and that's what we want to do. Anyway, let's get on with the video. staircase there going up we'll do that last and believe it or not this here is one of the first ever occupants and it's a Spanish family that come over and they had the villa built in the 70, late 1700s so she would have been the first lady that I believe that lived here. As I said, it made the newspaper because it was completely shut, a complete time capsule, everything left in it. Exactly how you see it. Maybe not the numbers on the doors. <laughs> So again, we are in Italy, as I said, uh, again, we're in Italy, as I said, very religious. Look at these high vaulted ceilings, and a lot of the old stuff still here, bits of furniture. The light just probably barely hanging on. This room's very, very cold as well. So believe it or not, the family run a pharmacy business uh, from part of this place. Look at the old stone cobbling floors. You think the amount of people have walked over this for years and years. Now check this room out, guys. <sighs> How incredible is this ceiling? How 
many artists took to paint and make this ceiling how you see it today. I could literally just stand in this room all day, sipping my tea. I'm English, we love tea. <laughs> Look at all the different designs. A little castle in the background through the light. It's the way they've done the looks like a kind of curtain pull all over the ceiling design. And the thing is, they've had to flow it with the ceiling as well. So you think before this place was built, this ceiling pattern was already obviously designed. And look at this low bearing light. And this must weigh an absolute, <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't even touch it really. See them just. The way they've done them, like they're just resting on the little bits. It's incredible. And you can imagine a blacksmith just banging away, shaping all the metals, just to create this light that's hanging here right now. Maybe the fireplace was probably stolen at some point, or it's just crumbled away. This may be parts of it that were left there. I mean, this is still very vibrant now, the colours, but you can imagine when this was first painted. The door frame there is about to fall off the wall. Oh, look at this. That is incredible. So it looks like it screws on top of something and then it works as a little wicks whisk. The fireplace that's no more heating. The fireplace that no longer heats this room. But everything's so well thought of. The wardrobes. As I said, you imagine like keeping your house through all the generations of family. A little telephone. And all her button collection. That's what I said back then, no one threw nothing away, it was always recycling. See this door stitchy hanging on. You see how things are just thought of? They haven't just put a radiator in there, they finished it off with this. It's absolutely beautiful. The Villa Maris. I think this is the stuff that probably hundreds of year old some of it is. It's just been through the family, generations, made it last. I like that painting there. It's like the woman standing next to like the river. And the two gentlemen there standing near the or three gentlemen, the one the dog. It's incredible, isn't it? So guys, just looking back at the old portrait there of the original owner. So we're gonna head up the staircase to this beautiful villa. As I said, 300 years of history, the same family 
pretty much right up to 2014 own this place. But you know what? There's no history on this family ever working. But the auntie, as we say, stated downstairs, used to run the pharmacist. The pharmacy, sorry. But look at this staircase. So now a little bit of updated history on this. This place was purchased, um, I think it's, she was saying around about two years ago. So it isn't abandoned now at the moment. It's being restored. So Nina Nietzsche Maris was one of the last owners here. And obviously she ended up in a care home. So the place was given to, I believe, the authorities, which then it was sold to pay for... Um, a care home. So now this was in a very, very sorry state. And it needs a lot of work desperately as well. So guys, if you do come to Italy, links will be in description, guys, for the uh, one of the ladies that actually gave us permission to come into this place. So this, as I said, this place was completely covered in cat mess everywhere. Windows, dead birds, uh, windows were broke, dead birds. But I love all the originality they've kept. Parts of the wallpaper still on the bedroom walls. And the stone flooring. So a lady purchased this for 400,000 euros and her dream was to turn it into a restaurant, a big stroke B&B. But she missed one thing, which I don't know what it was which basically the Italian government come in, or the authorities, and shut it down. So now she can't bear to come back in here. Her dream was crushed. I look at some of the stuff that's left. The old irons. And as we jump up the generations as well, as they get newer, then we go into probably like the first type of electric one here. And then the old, look at the old cable one there. Frightens you to think to even plug that thing in. I mean, you probably wouldn't now, but the old oil lamp. Oh, I love these old type. And they're bringing this, a lot of this back now, the old electricity. So that's quite a weird thing about this. So now this is one of the first owners so a, a little bit more back up which we explained downstairs around about the 1700s this, this family from Spain the Murris came over and they had this villa built but this is a gravestone for one of the family members that passed away in 1876 and the weird thing about this it was found in the attic now why would they keep the headstone or is this the stone that lays over the ground they've kept? Where is Murray? Where was the, uh, Lug is it Lugina? I think I've pronounced that completely wrong, guys. You can have a little read. Eighteen seventy-four. So now, obviously it's been laid out like this because we're here today taking a video and yeah, any money raised. So if you do want to come here, a small donation uh, over to the place so they can help put this back on the map. And I think it's incredible what they're doing. So yeah, I know I film abandoned, but it was technically abandoned up until I think it was either early this year or last year. These were for guys. If you know what these are for, please, please let me know. Let's head over to here. So this here as well is another headstone, I believe here, that was found as well by the same family member. But the same family. We can't really see the date on that. Okay, so this one dates. Uh, 1923 so she was born 1837 it's just so bizarre why it's in the loft why look at 
these the original pictures out the front of this building. This looks like an old wine box or something. Oh, wow. So many old documents. It's all to the do with his family as well. And you just love to sit there and just read through some of these documents. If you can read Italian, you might be able to translate a little bit of this. Maybe pause the video, guys. It's an old newspaper there, dating. Oh, wow. Wrapped around the book as a book binder. That's incredible. So you 400 years of history. I'm loving the wallpaper, the way it's just completely preserved. It's amazing how much there was stuff that was left behind. And you see how things were so well built as well. The detail just going into this little box. It's just probably a gift box or something. And the old beds that are still left. So obviously this place isn't open to the public. It is a private home. It dates, as I said, back to all the family. But the lady that owns it, as I said now, wants to kind of get it back on the map. She wants to restore it. Loving this old clock though. You can see there's another kind of secret door there. Again, these like high voltage ceilings. the quality on this wood. That's what I love about old furniture. It's just the quality. It was built to last and it is. It's proven. It's quite sad to think she was just completely on her own. So she had no children. The last original owner that went dates. Obviously she went in 19, uh, 2014. They put her into a home, 90 something. Never took medication, apparently. Never took an aspirin. <laughs> Never married. And it just proves do we really need all these drugs they give us? I wonder if we can see the ori that original pathway there with a little dog set on it. to move over to the side table there's a bedpan still there I love these old units you can see the bed probably where it got damp in here cracked all the stains on it I said people didn't go out and buy mattresses like they do today just chuck them away they just kept using them look at this it's got like a an ivory handle on it. It's a matter, it's still got the keys, it still function as well. And do you know what, it's really weird that when I open that you can like really smell the wood, even after all this time. It's absolutely incredible. So it's incredible to walk around this Maris family home. 
that dates back, as I said, all the generations of family that lived here. You can hear the church bells, church bells in the background. Proper really. Before I leave this room, look at this ceiling as well. Guys, look at this. Everything completely original. The ceilings. Look at the fireplace, guys. And the little tatty chair. I'm gonna admire this ceiling for a minute. Look at all the alcove bits. Crazy when you think today like how we all move properties, we just up and leave. When you think back these these type of years, families would keep their homes, as I said, for years and years, generations of family. Oh, look at the old line there. Just makes you wonder what the ashes are there. I'm not gonna be Rude in this video as well, you can really smell the cat pee in some of the areas. Jesus there. I don't know if this is kind of... Oh, it is just a wallpaper, yeah. You can see the wallpaper's all blown everywhere, about to come off. Can you imagine this, look. I'm not going to lay on the bed. But look, when you're laying in bed, looking up at that ceiling... These old type lights, look at them. And you get a horrible chair. <laughs> All the stuff that's left, the yeah, little TV. Still standing. These chairs are so cool. So obviously these would have come in later on to this property. And here you've got the absolutely stunning bookcase. Look at the way they spiraled all the wood. So just heading through the hallway. It's like the last supper there. It's made, of, it's made of, yeah. It's made of like a cast iron. This bit is here. It's another room as well. See the old bed frame in there. Nothing else really to see. I said the last owner, it was the basically the auntie that lived here. So believe it or not, this was the room that she stayed in, spent her entire life in here. This is it. And obviously they built this frame over the old original ceiling to probably keep the heat in as much as you can. And they've taken it all open and opened it back up so you can see that beautiful floral type ceiling with the pastel blue. You see all the detail up there. You think all of them would have been hand painted? Every one of them little square tiles all would have been hand painted. Oh, look at these. Loving these old little wooden toys. And don't take this wrong now but a lot of kids today if you give them this to play with they'd probably roll their eyes up and be like nah you 
you can see she put her entire room was in here. There's a looks like a gas valve, so she probably had a little cooker in here, a bed, everything was in this room. And they've put some I think it's just yeah, it's just like a liner they've put down. So this is some of the original parts that you're gonna see now. Well, it's all original. But you know what I mean? Parts of the house that have not even been touched. I mean, you can see that full ceiling they've put down. So obviously, yeah, sorry, a kitchen area would have been in here and a bedroom. These were the two areas and the urine smell in here. God, this is so strong. So this is it out of the whole house. Oh, I can't deal with it here too long, guys. It stinks. This is the whole area she spent her entire room. So the original part of the bathroom. I need to come out of this bit. Oh. Honestly, it's so strong in here. It hits you like a slap in the face. It purely stinks. Look at the little streets. Look at the old streets. So honestly guys, if you do know where this place is, please, please respect it. There's an email, uh, Instagram account on my uh, description. You can message them up. Um, obviously chuck a little donation down and let's get this place back on the map let's see it renovated wouldn't it be nice and not just another abandoned building that's finally going to deteriorate fall down and another you know another building that's so old it's just going to yeah be left just as it was coming back down the stairs found an old basement door not basement but yeah it's another little room Still in love with that downstairs ceiling, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Just have a little pan back. It's incredible, isn't it? Love these old places. Isn't it? So as I leave this place, it's actually the reason they say this is a love story. This place is because the guy came to Italy for a massive hunting game. And he fell in love with the city that much is how he ended up buying the villa, uh, building the villa and living his life here. So yeah, a love for Italy. Anyway, so that's that. So just before I was leaving, translating some of this newspaper here, the actual founder was a Joseph Felix Maris, who was a doctor, also a pharmacist. So this place would have been, as I said, a Spanish doctor would have moved over here. The medicine philosopher just walking outside just to finish off obviously some of the uh, the outer buildings is obviously seen a lot of better days yes this Spanish family come over, started a business bought his medicine with him so believe it or not these were the doors for the local original people would have gone through back We can get through, guys. So this would be the original little shop doors here. In which would have been the pharmacist room, believe it or not. Now it's hard to kind of probably picture that now, how it is. Oh, sorry, yeah, the shop door, sorry, would have been there. But yeah, can you imagine this here coming to your counter, all your medicine covered. Now, guys, again, I'm not going to forget. Look at this ceiling. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. This is so cool to stand in one of the original rooms. You can imagine the people just coming up here collecting their, their prescriptions and well I don't know if it would have been like as a prescription back then, I'm not sure. But yeah, just come and get their medicine. And you can imagine probably here, look how I look. You can see where the old racks were on the wall. 
You can imagine all the old type bottles where they just take a little bit out and put it into another bottle and take home. This is absolutely incredible. Into the life of the villa, guys. This crazy place. This crazy place sat empty. Little curtain still draped. I'm not sure why this was done, but this bit here was bricked up, which would have led into the part of the old house. Absolutely beautiful. It really honestly is. I'm going to end the video right here outside the villa. Sat on this. Stone bench. And if this dates back to when the house did, but I sat here on a stone bench watching some locals here actually saving a cat. So this place was riddled with stray cats, and there's one left that's very poorly. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed the villa, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Just watching AWE, watching me obviously means the world to me. And uh, thanks to all the Patreons, the channel memberships, and the Bias of Coffee guys. Love you loads. It's out from me, out from Maddox. And out from Steve over there. Hey, there you guys. Guys, love and support. Hit these guys up. Guys. AWE, guys. AWE for life. If you know what that stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me burger for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, love you loads and stay safe and see you on the next adventure.